This Killjoy turret paired with this alarm bar over and towards Garage won a map of Pro Valorant single-handedly. But how did it do it? Well, the thing with this turret is, of course, it will see anyone all the way down C long. And that is an important fact because if this turret doesn't go off or doesn't get destroyed, you know that they can't be down C long. You know that they can't be coming this way. And obviously, this turret will shoot people all the way back here. So you know it will give you enough time as well to start rotating towards the C site if it does go off. It's kind of a high risk, high reward turret. But between this and the alarm bot here in Garage, if these two abilities don't go off, you know that they can't be here, so you can stack the other half of the map. And our game in question is Bleed vs. Scars, the Pacific Ascension Grand Final. Uh, where we've got our Killjoy setup here, you can see uh, from round 6 to round 11, they will exclusively use this setup and they won't lose a single one of those rounds. Six rounds in a row, uh, which just goes to show how effective it was, right? And you can see instantly, we've got four players on one half of the map. Right, if we split the map in half here, we got four on one side and just this killer setup on the other side, right? And that's just such a massive advantage for the defenders. And they're really punishing here the fact uh, that in their default here for Scars, they've got this alarm bot down seat, right? They aren't committing any actual players towards this to destroy this turret. They've just got this alarm bot watching here to see if anyone actually pushes all the way out. And so that allows them, you know, kind of more players towards A, but it also allows Bleed to punish them by doing this setup. Uh, and so you see they start start to come towards A, but after, you know, not much uh, goes on too much, just a bit of sparring of utility, we actually get this nice little high-low setup from the Omen of Breach here, where they're about to uh, swing out towards B, just as this Killjoy is swinging out as well, and they're going to manage to find the first kill, and Scars can't trade it even after using the Soverall. These teams are not afraid to let those rip when they think they can use it. Oh, Neff, pushing up, gets Yoshi, clears the turret, will get tagged up, and the end, but manages to make his exit. Out to save the Hunter's Fury now going to be sent just to try to hound him down, looking for that desperate stray shot off the Hunter's Fury, but Crystal... So now we enter this 5v4, and Scars are a bit unsure of what to do. They start to come back towards A, they send out this Breach Stun, but the Silver Dark comes out and obviously gets destroyed very fast. And so now they kind of think, oh, well, now they know that with towards A, this Omen does start to rotate over towards this A site. And so they kind of go for a bit of a fake here with this Jet and Breach, where you can see in just a second we're going to get a Jet Smoke coming in. Uh, from Jemkin, we're going to get this Breach Aftershock just to probably hold these players here. And Oma Flash comes in response, but then they actually come back towards this B site. But the thing is, what we're going to get now is our Sova creeping up uh, to come for this flank on this B site. And now this is such a good idea, particularly because the Killjoy is dead. Because often what you will see is that the Killjoy, you know, with the turret here, with the alarm bot here, will often be the one who's just back here and watching for this A flank as well, right? And just kind of securing all of the back lines anytime you plant B. Normally it'll be the Killjoy, sometimes it can be someone else, but a lot of the time it will be that Killjoy. But because the Killjoy is dead, this is going to open up a lot. And basically these players, you know, have to worry about so much else that they don't worry about the Sova and they get absolutely destroyed. Torneco just getting stunned up. Once they get this on the ground, we'll be able to do so. TP's back out. Jim can now. He's looking to hold the door, pulls away right as he would have been able to see Neff. And here comes the backstab. Crazy guy comes out. The flash timing is good. Jemkin gets full blinded. Torneco flushed out, and suddenly it's all on Allen. He's been spotted. He's been dealt with. Four members strong. Bleed will tie us up once again. Very next round. And again, what have we got? We've got again Hildre turret. Alarm bot in here, and again, we've got four players on one half of the map for the defending team, and again, Scars don't manage to punish this. This is actually a save here for Scars, but what's about to happen is we've got this Silver Dart coming out here. This jet has actually smoked themselves off to avoid the dart. You can see it just here with our op looking down a long, and so the jet will avoid the dart until the third ping, and then when this third ping comes out, we're going to get a Breach Stun down here. We're going to get a Silver Alt down there. That's going to manage to find a kill. We've got still got our Judge here with the kill Killjoy in towards Garage, that's going to find a kill here on the opposition Killjoy, and they're going to get another to very quickly get us in to a 5v2. Back on that operator, and it's a low econ buy for Scars. Gets the ping, now the Hunter's Fury going to be coming through, Allen down to 20 HP, and he's going to get finished off, Crazy Guy finds that kill, Daria now putting that judge to use over at Garage as Juicy gets the shot, Jemkin gone, that's the hero rifle on the floor, he's got the dash, he's willing to play around. Now from here, I've just skipped about 20 seconds or so because not much happens. And we're just in this 2v5. Crystal's going to hit some nice shots, but eventually Scary will manage to close out the round for bleed. It's juicy just continues to jiggle. Neff's going to be taken out. Crystal oh. finds two. 
Decent damage. Now being spotted. Bringing this into a 2v3. Tornado down to 20 HP. Would love to get a gun. Have something to try to help left. out in this round. Taps on that spike. Plant scary. Swings out of the smoke to find Crystal. A phantom recovered, but... Such a rough position to be in. Tornego will fall as Bleed will take the lead now, four to three. Up to the very next round, and in this one, the turret actually gets destroyed. You can see we got our Silver out here. Uh, the Silver's gonna drone and obviously spot the turret, and decides in just a second when the drone ends to destroy the turret. Hallelujah! And look at the difference it makes in terms of where they have to play now. Right now, they have to be much more worried that a C hit is actually on the way. The reason that they've gone for this setup, though, I think here, Bleed, is because they have the Killjoy lockdown, and so they're probably much more willing to play just a full retake on A, uh, which is why we. We've just got the Sova out here kind of alone, um, uh, you know, because the Sova can just retreat as the Sova is doing just now. And, you know, they can just play for the retake A with the Killjoy lockdown. So you see, we have a much different map to the other rounds that we've had. But essentially, Scars just do not much for, you know, the next 45 seconds from when they destroy this turret to the point where they actually managed to get the turret back. <laughs> Uh, and so, you know, with, with one minute on the clock starting to take down now, you see that the rotates start to come in. They start to think like, oh, probably a hit is coming soon. The Silver Dark comes out and doesn't see anyone. And our jet with the op, though, is on the way towards C. Uh, they want to see what's going on there. And just in time, we get this turret about to be placed again, just as our jet is swinging around this corner. And so the Killjoy starts to leave. The jet is now on the angle. And they're going to get a, a double op kill here with one bullet in just a second. And then it's just going to be a save after the Killjoy lockdown comes in. Get onto this hard angle so that he can go for the peak. And he's got a lined up. Jim getting the Yoshi knocked out of the park. Juicy starts things off with a double. How much more can he get? They're just going to be having to back away. Scars now. The alarm bells ringing, scrambling as they just right spill out over in towards mid. Being into the corner. They're wary about it. They're trying to go for the spam. Now knowing that that angle not going to be occupied. What do they do from here? 15 seconds, it seems like with the drift back, moving over towards the attacker side. Okay, they will be able to get this lockdown. They're using this as a bit of a tempo play to just try and dissuade them from going for B or C, knowing that they cannot get to A in time. Okay, very next round, and yep, we still got the same Killjoy setup. This time we have a triple stack in towards B here for Bleed. Just the Sova starting towards A again, but this time Scars are just going to go pretty much for a full A hit. But again, you'll see the problems that that causes, where as they slowly kind of start to realize this Bleed, uh, that, you know, not much else is going on elsewhere on the map, you see that they just start to drift across here. And by the time that, you know, the drone comes out here from Scars and they're kind of ready to go for this first exec, they're going to get delayed by this breach done coming in in just a second and by the time that that's going on we've almost got four players on this site right which is just you're never going to win this situation i mean look at the map at this point right how is the attacking team ever going to win and they've also recalled their uh, killjoy turret here as well so at this point they don't know what's going on anywhere else on the map right i mean there could be players absolutely anywhere and they've just used their silver drone so basically they have to go towards a Right, uh, they basically are, are stuck and locked into that position. You see they start pinging out these positions as well, knowing that basically we can't go back because they could be in our spawn for all we know at this point, right? The jet actually starts to rotate back towards B uh, just to get back on this line, thinking that maybe they've come back and started to come towards B instead. But we've still got three people on this site, and in just a second, they're about to go and do an exec onto a stack site, and guess what? It doesn't go well for them. Turn in the back to check. Paranoia, fault line, Jemkin. In a bad spot, forced out into the open. Nep gets the headshot. Flashes in. Crazy guy, though. He's got plenty of covering fire. Scary just keeps it protected. Yoshi will get one, and that's all that they will find. Six to three now. Bleed doubling up. Three more rounds to be played out here in the half. They're starting to run away with it, and Scars need to find stability ASAP. Okay, now on to round 10. This one's actually coming off a timeout. It's actually a save here for Scars as well. Uh, but you'll see what we're going to get in this one, perhaps thinking that there's no way that they go towards A again. We've still got the same Killjoy setup, but our Killjoy actually starts to push down here uh, towards C, and the Omen is going to join in just a second. Uh, we do see a normal default coming out from Scars towards A, but our Breach begins pushing, destroys the Killjoy turret of uh, the attacking team just here, and in just a second, what's going to happen is Neff is going to see uh, Yoshi just there and start firing some bullets so it looks like scars were on their way back towards c but seeing that neff is all the way down here they think well we're on a save let's try and chase this kill instead and now chaos is going to absolutely rain we're going to get a smoke here on this alarm bot so they aren't aware that these guys have actually crossed across we're going to get traitors in amongst the group here as you'll see we just get a massive crazy skirmish going on here where the killjoy walks past us over uh on the other team 
and it just ends up in complete chaos. But again, Bleed will manage to win the round. Around the back, big snow. After shot gonna be used, Yoshi just swinging out into the garage doors, keeps himself safe. This nap shuts down Torneko, who's trying to come to his aid. Allen from window will be able to find one. Yoshi re swings out into B main, puts Juicy on the floor. The off loss, but the back set from Darius is perfectly timed, and Crystal is not able to respond and not able to read. It's scary, is looking behind. Jemkin now noted, completely out into the open, just trying to rotate around the side. Phantom in hand, a 1v2. Multiple angles to try to clear now. Oh. The paranoia crashes across. He gets himself tucked in alongside the site. Scary still sending some shots his way, not taking any damage. Recon having to be cleared. He manages to get rid of it, but he's still so far away from the spike. Dart into the back, it lands right at his feet. 30 health remaining. And now the smoke that he has to try to play out 30 of. 30 seconds left. He swings, he dies. Crazy guy will finish him off. And then finally, round 11, so the sixth round in a row where we've got, again, this Killjoy setup, and again, Scars are gonna go for just this straight A hit, and again, guess what's gonna happen? They're gonna get absolutely destroyed. They almost lose a first kill here to the stun and the off just there from Juicy, uh, but we already have three people over here, and you'll see that by the time they start this exec here just now, we've got three people on site, we've got this Silver Dark coming in here from the defenders as well. The Omen's on their way, so the Omen is gonna end up over here towards A as well. The Killjoy's gonna end up tucked in B. They have full information. So you've got four people just on A, a Killjoy alone on B. And again, they know that no one's going towards C anytime soon. They're about to get breach ulted here as well. They're just about to get absolutely destroyed. And Bleed would win another round and they won six in a row thanks to one Killjoy turret. Already a good start with three players getting worked lower and lower. On the entryway though, the rolling thunder. Jemkin goes crashing into it. It's juicy will find another over at Sewer. Bleed are not backing down, they are not letting them back into this Thank game. You. The drone to chase forward to try to spot him out will get cleared. It's a ping across and Allen <laughs> plunged into the open as the util here from Neff has been absolutely immaculate to watch. Spike in hand for Torin Neko, but in a 1v5. Thinks about going for the TP forward. But Darian just silently waiting around the corner and how swinging up into him is not ready. Will end up falling. Torneko going to be sprinting. I thought maybe to see, but no. This goes for this left side plant into the B site. Stun across the smoke. Set up. Thinks about TPing up top. Instead pushes into the smoke, but it's already too late. Before the paranoia comes across, Neff spots him out. The shorty will do the job. And that will be eight rounds now confirmed for bleed.